So let's say you want to make a normal map for your pixel art. Uh, this is a little bit complicated, but not. So all you want to do is do a search for a normal map ball, right? And you get this sort of thing, or it'll be this sort of thing. Uh, which one looks right to me? Uh, this one looks right to me. Okay, so it's got cyan at the top, kind of a purple here. And anyway, that looks right to me, but I will check it so I can copy this. There's other ways to make normal maps, but <coughs> I'll just check this now. If I check each channel, red should look like this. Green should look like this and blue, yeah, pretty much. So that to me looks good. I'm gonna uh, just give it a little bit of filter blur and smart blur, just to get rid of some noise. Just cleans it up a bit and that should be good. So I'm gonna change the size of it as well to 64 by 64 because I don't need it to be super high res and uh, also do another little blur on it. Okay, and I'm going to save this as my normal map ball. And I'm going to go into a sprite. Um, I guess I can just copy and paste this. So copy paste it right so I'll stick it aside somewhere all right and then I'm going to make a new layer so new layer I'm going to rename this as normal map right and what you want to think about is when you're painting or when you're picking the colors of this and painting over your pixels you want to pick uh, relative to what side things are pointing so if uh, this little brick here is kind of like if you're looking at top down or bottom up if you're looking at it top down it goes it goes round in an arc like this right so there's a bit that point this way that way this way so if it's pointing this way it's going to be here if it's pointing there it's going to be in the middle and if it's pointing there it's going to be in the right okay so that's all you need to think about so let's get to it so going to color in all the sides. Now this could take a while. All right. And then the right hand side. Let's just go around all of this. You can always fix the little middle bits. Right, and then that starts to come round the way. Doesn't have to be super accurate because it's only pixel art. And then in the middle. Your middle should be kind of a mid blue, like that. Uh, and if it's at the bottom, it's this purpley tone. As you see, I'm starting to go this way, so it's this angle. And then it starts to go that way, so it's this angle. I just want to kind of go in between those values. Right, top. It's not perfect, but it will do. Now there's loads of little, um, what do you call them, like separations between each brick. So I kind of want to get those. Uh, I'm going to change the opacity of this layer if it will let me. Uh, it doesn't let me. Anyway, if I move this aside, 
just I'll move it aside just a couple of pixels like that. I can see where I can work, right? It's as good as it gets. Now, there's the bottom of this brick. So that's going to be there, right? Bottom of the brick, like that. Top of the brick, there, right? And that's what you're going to do for each little bit. Um, let's just do the top of the brick, top of the brick. Now I could um, even use a bit of a pass it here, not too much because we still need that to read in. Right. And then top of the brick here, here. In fact, I'm just going to make sure it's full just to make sure it's um, doing the job right. And then the bottom bit. Just move this in so I can see what's happening at the top. Um, okay, and then I want to. So there's the left hand of this brick. So left hand area here, right hand kind of here somewhere. And even though I've faked a lot of the light in, um, I just want to try this anyway. Right, uh, this one is up here somewhere. That one down there. Right, that's good enough to test and also for purpose of this video because it took me a long time to process all of this. Uh, I could obviously do the bricks here, but I'll do them really quickly one by one and then copy and paste them and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to fill the rest of the layer with the mid blue. So mid blue is 128, 128, 255. Oh, so it won't do it. 128, 128, 255. I'm going to add that in. And then I'm just going to fill the rest of that layer. So that's now going to be my normal map. So if I hide that. Okay, so I'll save this as normal map. Yeah, that's okay. Just continue anyway. All right. <coughs> Let's just check that's done it correctly. Um, sort the names. Right, and then I'm going to load it into Sketchfab. So if I edit the 3D settings of this, and I go to my materials, so my backdrop one is this, and I'm going to enable normal bump map, and turn that off, and import my little normal map. Oops. On these textures, import texture, this one, and choose that. Right, you can't really see it so well until I move the light around. Right, but this this bit here has got normal map now. I need to make it also be nearest. Don't really see it too well. You can see it kind of at the edge here. It gives it a slightly more 3D look. So if I turn it off, you can see it goes quite flat. And then on, it's quite rounded. Can't really make it any higher. Um, in fact, you could also use a bump map. And if you say bump map and choose your texture, uh, this one. You can already get a bit of 3D out of that as well. I need to just change that to that already is on nearest. Uh, that's no good. Yeah, it doesn't work too well because yeah, look at this state of all this. So 
normal map was better. We set that to nearest and then Yep, you can basically make a normal map out of it. <clears throat> it's not so obvious, I guess, because the light needs to be in a certain place as well. So if I choose like this one. and back to the materials you can see it a little bit better there and especially there it looks quite nice so if I turn it down it looks flat and then turn it up you see it gets all these little highlights so imagine you did that with the whole scene that'd be pretty cool all right so thanks for watching this video that is how you would paint normal maps uh, manually for pixel art Thanks for watching. Bye.